And in a CBS News New York Times poll this morning, 56% of Americans support sending drone aircraft to attack insurgents. 51% back President Obama's plans to send about 300 U.S. military advisors. 43% favor strike aircraft, but only 19% want to see ground troops return. Secretary of State John Kerry met with Kurdish leaders in Iraq this morning. It was his second stop in Iraq. And Kerry tells our Margaret Brennan that any attack by U.S. forces right now wouldn't do any good. It would be a complete and total act of irresponsibility for the president just to order a few strikes, but there's no government, there's no backup, there's no military, there's nothing there that provides the capacity for success. So what we are doing is a deliberate, careful, thoughtful approach, listening to the people here, listening to the allies, listening to the partner countries in the region, and putting together something that can work. The President of the United States is trying to move this process forward in, the, in what I think is a thoughtful and focused, disciplined way so that we have a structure in Iraq which will give the greatest capacity for success. And the President reserves the right to use force as he does anywhere in the world if it is necessary, but he wants to do so if he were having to do so and it was the decision he ultimately made with knowledge that there's a government in place that can actually follow through and guarantee that what the United States is working towards can actually be achieved. Well, the Kurds control more territory because of the ISIS advance, but Kerry is urging them to support Iraq's central government. A White House